Kwe Kwe, greetings. Thanks to the elders, chief, mayor, leaders, community members, family and friends. We recognize the unceded Algonquin territory that we are on and this Abaddon place where we stand today. The artwork was inspired by the voice of the Gitigan ZB community. When they asked for an artwork that interpreted four Algonquin themes, you can see family, women, animals, and canoes. This birch bark basket connects us to the present day with the daily lives of our ancestors who lived here for thousands of years. Imagine women and their families canoeing on the very waters in front of us today. We hear their voices and their laughter in the wind as they canoed and carried food back to the campground that we stand on today. The animals depicted on the basket are the bear and the moose. The moose is perfectly adapted to the land. The moose is skilled swimmer and navigates the forest with ease. The bear is the head of all animals. This teaches us that even though the bear is large, it walks gently on the land. The top of the basket is decorated with a design we find on baskets and canoes which represent water. It recognizes water as the giver of life. On the bottom of the basket, we see ancient basket designs made at Gideon Zibi. They honor the plants as they unfold in the spring that provide us with food and medicine. On the sides, we honor the beaver that inspires many things in our culture, such as the beaver-tailed canoe paddle. On the other side is the gray jay, or the whiskey jack, who is in our stories as a valued hunter and very much part of our present lives. The process of creating the basket was done in the same way images were created traditionally on birch bark baskets. The images are made from stencils or cutouts. Stencils in the past were made from birch bark paper and were passed down from one generation to another. And in this way, the knowledge and the teachings were passed down with the stencils. The images are etched onto the basket by tracing the outline of the stencil. The red layer of the bark is scratched away to reveal the white layer. And as you can see on these images, the same process was used to create this basket. A close look reveals the etching marks and the texture and the beauty of the birch bark. You are invited to read the history and culture of Algonquins symbolized in this sculpture. On the lid of the basket, is a turtle which honors our mother the earth. It faces east and this morning it saw for the first time the summer solstice rising. The Creator is happy today to know that Algonquin people are here at this place where the water and the four directions come together. This sculpture also challenges us to think about our spiritual connection to the land and the water from the beginning of time. We hope it is that when people view this art that they see themselves and how they connect to the land, much in the same way our ancestors loved and respected this land. The land is our teacher, our university, and we must become good ancestors for future generations. Our challenge is to leave the land for the future generations in better condition than the land is today. And we reconcile with each other as we reconcile with the land. Art has the power to connect the people of Gatineau and the people of Gideon Zibi to the history and culture of the land. It is an opportunity to strengthen the bonds of friendship between Gatineau and Gideon Zibi Anishinaabe. This sculpture is truly a community art project as well as a public art project. The original concept came from Gideon Zibi and in this way it can be said that it is community driven.
The Ville de Gatineau took these instructions and faithfully implemented the project. So I give thanks to the people of Gatineau and Gitigan Zibi for the inspiration and the implementation of this project. And finally, I give thanks to my family, artists, engineers, fabricators, and the people who gave me advice and support through the implementation of this sculpture. Miigwech. Nyawe.